Hello viewers, from A for Apple, B for Ball, C for Cat, to A for Iris, B for Breathing, C for Circulation. That's where we reach while studying at a medical university. Welcome all. Today, we are going to take you on a short tour of this entire Penzo State University, Russia. This university facilitates our students with special courses from graduation to post-graduation with various faculties such as Computer Engineering, Industrial Engineering, Electrical Engineering, Pedagogy and Psychology, Literature and History, Dentistry, Law and our own, the Faculty of General Medicine. The first question that comes to our mind while choosing a medical university is that if it is World Health Organization or World Medical Directly recognized or not, then I would like to assure you that Penza State Medical University is. This university was established in 1943 and this November it will complete its 75 years. This university is situated in center of Penza so it can fulfill our demands and needs and the hostel is situated in the university campus itself. This is the only university which has highest community of Indians, nearly 500 students in 6 years and then in any other country. This university believes in equality and it allows all kind of students to celebrate their own festivals with their ritualty. But we are a bit lucky that we have got Dr. Yuvraj Singh Solonki as our mentor. He takes special care of us that we celebrate all festivals with great joy and enthusiasm. He creates a, a home-like environment for us that we don't miss our home in festivals. We celebrate almost all kind of festivals like Diwali, Navratri, Holi, Gudi Parva, Christmas, Ramadan, etc. And not only we celebrate those festivals, but our university officials also get involved with us in our festivals. Studying is not an easy job, so why not ensure that you have enough strength to cope with the load? So our university facilitates us with sports centers, sports ground and swimming pools. What's about the food? This is the only university which has Indian restaurant or called Indian canteen named flavors of Indian food. year starts from September and lasts till June. Each year is divided into two semesters. Each semester lasts about four to five months, depending on the different courses of the students. See, the students of the general medicine has to study six years here in English language and talking about the Russian language for the communication and other purposes, we have skilled Russian teachers and Russian classes focuses on each and every student, so it's not a big question about worry. University, total number of students are divided into several groups. Each group has 15 to 16 students, so it's a very convenient for the teachers to teach the students or to teach the few students at a definite period of time and also it's very beneficial for the students to study proper and understand them. And the main thing is here it is very compulsory for the students to attend classes and the lectures regularly. Teachers always check the lectures, the homeworks and all for the specific students in the respective classes. Here the teacher uh, marks the student out of 5. The 5 means the excellent mark, the 4 leads to a very good mark, 3 means satisfactory and 2 leads to the failure. It's a very important for the student to attend the classes and the lectures regularly. The student misses the classes or the lectures or have more failure marks in their examinations than to clear them on time at special hours called Atravodkas. Not clearing the Atravodkas may lead to the rustication from the university. If student has any Atravodkas in that subject then he or she won't be allowed to give exam on that subject. The university will give three chances to clear the exams along with the Atravodkas and if the student miss those three chances then also he or she will be restricted from that universe. Talking about the medical facilities over here, recently a polyclinic has been developed which has been equipped with all the modern facilities which includes vaccinations, diagnostics, laboratory tests, MRI machines, CT scan machines, x-ray machines and many more. And talking about the costs, all the medical expenses have been included in the medical insurance that each and every student is provided with when he or she arrives in this university in Penza. However, the student has to bear some overhead expenses uh, according to his or her needs. And mind it, all this, uh, all this insurance we are talking about is accepted in all the hospitals all over Penza. The campus of Penza State University is spread over 2,80,000 meters square in the Penza city 
which includes 18 academic buildings which has lecture halls, cafeteria, classrooms and many more. So now I would like to brief you about the important buildings of Penta State University. The building number one, it includes rector office, administrative office and the lecture hall. Building number eight, it includes Russian department, chemistry department and conference hall. Building number 10, it is the most important building of this university as it contains all the faculties of general medicine uh, which includes uh, the anatomy department, biochemistry department, physiology department, pharmacology department, uh, medical informatics and many more. Now building number 11, it is the most important administrative building of this university. It, it contains the dean office, the rector office, the financial office, the visa office and then the main library of this university. The library has got its own rules. If a student wants to issue a book, he has to give a special library card which is provided to each and every student when he or she arrives in this university. Number 15 has got the biology department building and lastly the building number 18 has got microbiology and immunology department and the Russian department. A short brief about the main buildings of Penza State University. Along with these facilities, each and every building is provided with separate ATM machines and cafeteria. All the buildings are at walking distance from the hostel so that each and every student can reach the classes on time. Each class has a duration of 1 hour 30 minutes and between two classes there is a break of 20 minutes. Our university offers all students with comfortable and convenient hostels. Indian students are provided with a separate hostel where we all Indians are around 500 students live in one hostel. Also, our security for the hostel is very powerful. We need electronic card to, for entry and exit in the hostel. Also, that electronic card is used in all buildings of the university for exit and entry. Our Dr. Hirat Singh Solanki has provided us with a special reading hall in our hostel where every student can go and read there at any time. Mainly due to cold weather outside, every hostel and university buildings has a specialized heater which makes us warm and uh, make an environment to study. I would conclude by saying that Penza State University is better in all circumstances. All other aspects, apparent expect. Thank you.